Hey guys, Dr. Scott Keller with Synergy Chiropractic Spine and Joint Center. Today, we're going to use a kettlebell for the exercise, um, something relatively light. Um, we're going to do a bottoms up kettlebell press over our head, but adding a little bit of a challenge. So we've done some of these movements before where people are probably pretty um, surprised at how heavy that bottoms up position can get into a press. Um, the twist today is going to be doing this on a single leg. So we're going to flex one knee or one hip up to 90 degrees. Okay, try to stay tight through the core, stable through the hips. Um, going back to even talking about the foot, the tripod of the foot, trying to maintain equal weight between the big, base of the big toe, base of the little toe, and the heel. So obviously, anytime we're in a single leg stance, you're gonna feel a lot of wobble and a lot of roll. So try to get that base of the foot nice and stable. That's gonna keep your knee stable, your hip, and then through your core. So there's a lot of dynamics going on up and down the chain here just to be able to maintain this position. Now, the twist here, obviously, is bottoms up kettlebell and the opposite side as the leg that's raised, okay? So we're kind of starting to work on what's called cross-crawl patterns. You're gonna hear that term a few times um, in the upcoming weeks and the upcoming um, exercises that I do. Um, these are kind of fundamental, um, going back to developmental kinesiology, how our bodies kind of work, so obviously, even when we're running, you know, we're always working in opposites, opposite arm, opposite legs. Um, so we want to be stable in those types of positions. So the exercise, bottoms up kettlebell, flex at the hip to 90 degrees here, and then you're going to maintain that position as you press straight overhead, lower slowly, press. And we're going to do that five times on one side, trying to remain balanced and still here. If you lose your balance, that's okay. Just reset. Five reps there. Switch to the other side. Balance. Press. Okay? Other than what I already talked about with the core and the hips, um, obviously things with the shoulder are important as well. So we don't ever want to press and shrug. So always working on keeping that shoulder in a good position as we press through. So if you're limited in your shoulder mobility, this would be a good time to pair Obviously, uh, again, some foam rolling, some lacrosse ball release of the pec, the pec minor, the lat, um, doing some of those nice stretches for that. Um, if you have trouble holding your leg up into this hip flexion um, degree, you know, working on some of that hip mobility, but also some hip strengthening things, core strengthening things that we've done in the past would benefit you as well. Um, if you really have trouble keeping your balance on your foot, we've done videos in the past uh, that specifically work on activating and strengthening the tripod of the bottom of the foot, so you can look back at those videos on my YouTube link as well. Um, what other things, I guess, the things that we're going to see most commonly that people fail in other than shrugging and losing their balance is just the hips and the core don't stay in a nice straight line here. So we're going to see a lot of people wanting to kind of go out this way, um, in particular towards the hip, uh, the side that you're standing on. So that's, this glute and this side of the core aren't activated to hold you in this upright position. So really squeeze that butt, tighten that core. Um, and don't forget to breathe. Always important to breathe. Do your best to, to breathe through the belly to activate that diaphragm normally. Um, but once again, there's a lot of things going on in here, so just do the best you can to kind of keep stable and, and hit all those points and work on this one. If you have questions, don't hesitate to email me, call me, uh, scott at synergylincoln.com.